Cluster 2 is a space mission of the European Space Agency, with NASA participation, to study the Earth's magnetosphere over the course of nearly two solar cycles. The mission is composed of four identical spacecraft flying in a tetrahedral formation. As a replacement for the original Cluster spacecraft which were lost in a launch failure in 1996, the four Cluster 2 spacecraft were successfully launched in pairs in July and August 2000 on board two Soyuz Fregat rockets from Baikonur, Kazakhstan. In February 2011, Cluster 2 celebrated 10 years of successful scientific operations in space. The mission has been extended until December 2018. China National Space Administration – ESA Double Star Mission operated alongside Cluster 2 from 2004 to 2007. <laughs> <laughs> Mission overview The four identical Cluster 2 satellites study the impact of the Sun's activity on the Earth's space environment by flying in formation around Earth. For the first time in space history, this mission is able to collect three-dimensional information on how the solar wind interacts with the magnetosphere and affects near-Earth space and its atmosphere, including aurorae. The spacecraft are cylindrical 2.9 by 1.3 meters, see online 3D model, and are spinning at 15 rotations per minute. After launch, their solar cells provided 224 watts power for instruments and communications. Solar array power has gradually declined as the mission progressed, due to damage by energetic charged particles, but this was planned for and the power level remains sufficient for science operations. The four spacecraft maneuver into various tetrahedral formations to study the magnetospheric structure and boundaries. The inter-spacecraft distances can be altered and has varied from around 4 to 10,000 km. The propellant for the transfer to the operational orbit, and the maneuvers to vary inter-spacecraft separation distances made up approximately half of the spacecraft's launch weight. The highly elliptical orbits of the spacecraft initially reached a perigee of around 4 Re Earth radii, where 1 Re equals 6,371 km and an apogee of 19.6 Re. Each orbit took approximately 57 hours to complete. The orbit has evolved over time, the line of apsides has rotated southwards so that the distance at which the orbit crossed the magnetotail current sheet progressively reduced, and a wide range of dayside magnetopause crossing latitudes were sampled. Gravitational effects impose a long-term cycle of change in the perigee and apogee distance, which saw the perigees reduce to a few 100 kilometers in 2011 before beginning to rise again. The orbit plane has rotated away from 90 degrees inclination. Orbit modifications by ESOC have altered the orbital period to 54 hours. All these changes have allowed Cluster to visit a much wider set of important magnetospheric regions than was possible for the initial two-year mission, improving the scientific breadth of the mission. The European Space Operations Centre acquires telemetry and distributes to the online data centres the science data from the spacecraft. The Joint Science Operations Centre JSOC at Rutherford Appleton Laboratory in the UK coordinates scientific planning and in collaboration with the instrument teams provides merged instrument commanding requests to ESOC. The Cluster Science Archive is the ESA long-term archive of the Cluster and Double Star Science missions. Since 1 November 2014, it is the sole public access point to the Cluster mission scientific data and supporting datasets. The double star data are publicly available via this archive. The Cluster Science Archive is located alongside all the other ESA science archives at the European Space Astronomy Centre, located near Madrid, Spain. From February 2006 to October 2014, the cluster data could be accessed via the Cluster Active Archive. History The cluster mission was proposed to ESA in 1982 and approved in 1986, along with the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory SOHO, and together these two missions constituted the solar terrestrial physics cornerstone of ESA's Horizon 2000 missions program. Though the original cluster spacecraft were completed in 1995, the explosion of the Ariane 5 rocket carrying the satellites in 1996 delayed the mission by four years while new instruments and spacecraft were built. 
On July 16, 2000, a Soyuz Fregat rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome launched two of the replacement Cluster 2 spacecraft, Salsa and Samba, into a parking orbit from where they maneuvered under their own power into a 19,000 by 119,000 km orbit with a period of 57 hours. Three weeks later on August 9, 2000 another Soyuz Fregat rocket lifted the remaining two spacecraft Rumba and Tango into similar orbits. Spacecraft 1, Rumba, is also known as the Phoenix spacecraft, since it is largely built from spare parts left over after the failure of the original mission. After commissioning of the payload, the first scientific measurements were made on February 1, 2001. The European Space Agency ran a competition to name the satellites across all of the ESA member states. Ray Cotton, from the United Kingdom, won the competition with the names Rumba, Tango, Salsa and Samba. Ray's town of residence, Bristol, was awarded with scale models of the satellites in recognition of the winning entry, as well as the city's connection with the satellites. However, after many years of being stored away, they were finally given a home at the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory. Originally planned to last until the end of 2003, the mission has been extended several times. The first extension took the mission from 2004 until 2005, and the second from 2005 to June 2009. The mission has now been extended until the end of 2018. Topic: <inaudible> Scientific objectives. Previous single and two spacecraft missions were not capable of providing the data required to accurately study the boundaries of the magnetosphere. Because the plasma comprising the magnetosphere cannot presently be accessed using remote sensing techniques, satellites must be used to measure it in situ. Four spacecraft allow scientists make the 3D, time-resolved measurements needed to create a realistic picture of the complex plasma interactions occurring between regions of the magnetosphere and between the magnetosphere and the solar wind. Each satellite carries a scientific payload of 11 instruments designed to study the small-scale plasma structures in space and time in the key plasma regions, solar wind, bow shock, magnetopause, polar cusps, magnetotail, plasmapause boundary layer and over the polar caps and the auroral zones. The bow shock is the region in space between the Earth and the Sun where the solar wind decelerates from super to subsonic before being deflected around the Earth. In traversing this region, the spacecraft make measurements which help characterize processes occurring at the bow shock, such as the origin of hot flow anomalies and the transmission of electromagnetic waves through the bow shock and the magnetosheath from the solar wind. Behind the bow shock is the thin plasma layer separating the Earth and solar wind magnetic fields known as the magnetopause. This boundary moves continuously due to the constant variation in solar wind pressure. Since the plasma and magnetic pressures within the solar wind and the magnetosphere, respectively, should be in equilibrium, the magnetosphere should be an impenetrable boundary. However, plasma has been observed crossing the magnetopause into the magnetosphere from the solar wind. Cluster's four-point measurements make it possible to track the motion of the magnetopause as well as elucidate the mechanism for plasma penetration from the solar wind. In two regions, one in the northern hemisphere and the other in the south, the magnetic field of the Earth is perpendicular rather than tangential to the magnetopause. These polar cusps allow solar wind particles, consisting of ions and electrons, to flow into the magnetosphere. Cluster records the particle distributions, which allow the turbulent regions at the exterior cusps to be characterized. The regions of the Earth's magnetic field that are stretched by the solar wind away from the Sun are known collectively as the magnetotail. Two lobes that reach past the Moon in length form the outer magnetotail while the central plasma sheet forms the inner magnetotail, which is highly active. Cluster monitors particles from the ionosphere and the solar wind as they pass through the magnetotail lobes. In the central plasma sheet, cluster determines the origins of ion beams and disruptions to the magnetic field-aligned currents caused by substorms. The precipitation of charged particles in the atmosphere creates a ring of light emission around the magnetic pole known as the auroral zone. Cluster measures the time variations of transient particle flows and electric and magnetic fields in the region. <laughs> <laughs> Instrumentation on each cluster satellite Double star mission with China 
In 2003 and 2004, the China National Space Administration launched the double star satellites, TC-1 and TC-2, that worked together with Cluster to make coordinated measurements mostly within the magnetosphere. TC-1 stopped operating on 14 October 2007. The last data from TC-2 was received in 2008. TC-2 made a contribution to magnetar science as well as to magnetospheric physics. Here are three scientific highlights where TC-1 played a crucial role. 1. Space is fizzy. Ion density holes were discovered near the Earth's bow shock that can play a role in bow shock formation. The bow shock is a critical region of space where the constant stream of solar material, the solar wind, is decelerated from supersonic speed to subsonic speed due to the internal magnetic field of the Earth. Full story, http colon slash slash psi dot esa dot int slash jump dot cfm question mark oid equals three nine five five nine. Echo of this story on CNN http colon slash slash www.cnn.com slash two oh oh six slash tech slash space slash oh six slash twenty slash space dot bubbles slash index dot html two Inner magnetosphere and energetic particles Chorus emissions found further away from Earth during high geomagnetic activity. Chorus are waves naturally generated in space close to the magnetic equator, within the Earth's magnetic bubble called magnetosphere. These waves play an important role in the creation of relativistic electrons and their precipitation from the Earth's radiation belts. These so-called killer electrons can damage solar panels and electronic equipment of satellites and represent a hazard to astronauts. Therefore, information on their location with respect to the geomagnetic activity is of crucial importance to be able to forecast their impact. Chorus sound file, http colon slash slash psi dot esa dot int slash jump dot cfm question mark oid equals 38339 3. Magnetotail dynamics Cluster and double star reveal the extent of neutral sheet oscillations. For the first time, neutral sheet oscillations observed simultaneously at a distance of tens of thousands of kilometers are reported, thanks to observations by five satellites of the cluster and the double star program missions. This observational first provides further constraint to model this large-scale phenomenon in the magnetotail. Full story, http colon slash slash psi dot esa dot int slash jump dot cfm question mark oid equals 38999. The TC-1 satellite has demonstrated the mutual benefit of, and has fostered, scientific cooperation in space research between China and Europe. We expect even more results when the final archive of high-resolution data will be made available to the worldwide scientific community. Underlines Philippe Escube, Double Star and Cluster Mission Manager of the European Space Agency. Topic: <laughs> Discoveries and Mission Milestones. Topic: 2018. November 08 ESA Science Highlight, Windy with a Chance of Magnetic Storms, Space Weather Science with Cluster September 30 O Plus Escape during the Extreme Space Weather Event of 4-10 September 2017 August 8 Statistical Survey of Dayside Magnetospheric Current Flow using Cluster Observations, Bow Shock June 20 Detection of Magnetic Nulls around Reconnection Fronts open access. May 21 – Tailward propagation of magnetic energy density variations with respect to substorm onset times open access. April 24 – Kelvin Helmholtz instability, lessons learned and ways forward March 29 – Three-dimensional density and compressible magnetic structure in solar wind turbulence February 8 – ESA spotlight on Understanding Earth – What the cluster mission has taught us so far January 29 – ESA Research Highlight – Cluster Measures Turbulence in Earth's Magnetic Environment January 22 – Science Nugget of the 2013-2014 Cluster Inner Magnetosphere Campaign 2017 
December 11, 2017 Empirical modeling of the quiet and storm time geosynchronous magnetic field December 6, 2017 Direct measurement of anisotropic and asymmetric wave vector spectrum in ion scale solar wind turbulency October 30, 2017 Coherent structures at ion scales in the fast solar wind, cluster observation September 18, 2017 An intense magnetic substorm scrutinized by a fleet of satellites including cluster and MMS open access August 28, 2017 Relationship between electron field aligned anisotropy and dawn dusk magnetic field, nine years of cluster observations in the Earth magnetotail August 1, 2017 Collisionless shock velocity estimation at Venus and Earth open access June 16, 2017 Cover of GRL, global Ulf waves generated by a hot flow anomaly April 10, 2017 ESA research highlight, O marks the spot for magnetic reconnection April 7, 2017 EOS Research Spotlight, explaining unexpected twists in the Sun's magnetic field March 23, 2017 Occurrence frequency and location of magnetic islands at the Dayside Magnetopause February 18, 2017 Magnetic reconnection and their associated auroral enhancements open access. <laughs> 2016. November 15, 2016 – Baron Marcel Nicolette Medal for Space Weather and Space Climate awarded to Mike Hapgood, Cluster Mission Scientific Operations Expert October 3, 2016 – What happens to the Earth's magnetosphere when its bow shock disappears? September 6, 2016 – Embry-Riddle University FL, USA, Science Highlight – Space plasma hurricanes could lead to new sources of energy July 20, 2016 – Cluster and MMS join forces to understand the origin of Northern Lights July 8 – Transport of solar wind H+, and He++ ions across Earth's bow shock July 7 – ESA Science Highlight – The curious case of Earth's leaking atmosphere Ferrazun 11 substructures within a dipolarization front revealed by high temporal resolution cluster observations May 11 cone angle control of the interaction of magnetic clouds with the Earth's bow shock March 21 the particle carriers of field aligned currents in the Earth's magnetotail during a substorm February 29 the role of ionospheric O plus outflow in the generation of earthward propagating plasmoids January 11 – A statistical study of plasmospheric plumes and ionospheric outflows observed at the dayside magnetopause. 2015 December 7 – Coalescence of magnetic flux ropes in the ion diffusion region of magnetic reconnection October 22 – Wide-banded non-thermal continuum NTC radiation, local to remote observations by the four cluster satellites September 3 – Statistics and accuracy of magnetic null identification in multispacecraft data open access. August 22 – Cusp dynamics under northward IMF using three-dimensional global particle in cell simulations open access. July 14 – Cluster solves the mystery of equatorial noise July 1st 7 ESA satellites team up to explore the Earth's magnetic field. April 9th heart of the Black Auroras revealed by cluster. March 25th cluster satellite catches up. February 19th magnetospheric signatures of ionospheric density cavities observed by cluster open access. February 16th solar illumination control of ionospheric outflow above polar cap arcs open access. January 16 – Rejigging the cluster quartet at the bow shock and in the solar wind. 2014 December 18 – Origin of high-latitude auroras revealed November 20 – The cluster mission is extended by ESA up to 2018. September 4 – Full particle electromagnetic simulations of entropy generation across a collisionless shock August 28 – A mixed-up magnetic storm July 1 – Dawn dusk asymmetries in the coupled solar wind magnetosphere-ionosphere system, a review 
June 15 – Solar wind breaks through the Earth's magnetic field May 28 – Evidence of strong energetic ion acceleration in the near-Earth magnetotail free access May 7 – Cluster helps to model Earth's mysterious magnetosphere Mark 15 – Direct calculation of the ring current distribution and magnetic structure seen by cluster during geomagnetic storms open access January 13 – Low altitude electron acceleration due to multiple flow bursts in the magnetotail open access. Topic 2013. November 26 cluster takes a tilt at radio wave sources. November 15 on the relation between asymmetries in the ring current and magnetopause current free access. September 20 ESA's cluster satellites in closest ever dance in space. September 10 cluster shows plasmasphere interacting with Van Allen belts. July 18 – Wobbly magnetic reconnection speeds up electrons July 2 – Cluster discovers steady leak in the Earth's plasmasphere May 2 – Cluster hears the heartbeat of magnetic reconnection April 15 – From solar activity to stunning aurora ESA Space Sciences image of the week April 10 – Cluster finds source of aurora energy boost January 1 1 2013 UK Royal Astronomical Society Ross Chapman Medal awarded to the ground based principal investigator of the cluster mission January 1 1 2013 Ross Service Award received by the Cluster Joint Science Operations Center project scientist Topic 2012 December 18 – The solar wind is swirly October 24 – Cluster observes a porous magnetopause October 10, 2012 – University of Iowa Award for Excellence received by the NASA-funded PI of the Wideband Instrument on the Cluster Mission August 1 – Cluster looks into waves in the magnetosphere's thin boundaries July 2 – Hidden portals in Earth's magnetic field NASA Science Cast Video June 6 – Origin of particle acceleration in cusps of Earth's magnetosphere uncovered. March 7 – Earth's magnetic field provides vital protection. February 27 – Northern Lights mystery may be solved. Space. Com. February 23 – Surprise ions. Science news for kids. January 26 – Giant veil of cold plasma discovered high above Earth. National Geographic. January 24 – Elusive matter found to be abundant far above Earth AGU press release. January 18, 2012 – Royal Astronomical Society Chapman Medal awarded to the Principal Investigator of the Cluster Peace Experiment. 2011 November 16 – Cluster reveals Earth's bow shock is remarkably thin September 6 – Ultra-fast substorm Auroras explained August 31 – to 40-year-old Mariner 5 – Solar wind problem finds answer July 5 – to 10 – Aurora Explorer – The Cluster Mission Exhibit at the Royal Society Summer Science Exhibition 2011 July 4 – Cluster observes jet breaking and plasma heating June 30 – Dirty Hack – Restores Cluster Mission from near loss March 21 – How vital is a planet's magnetic field? New debate rises February 5 – Cluster encounters a natural particle accelerator January 7 – ESA spacecraft model magnetic boundaries 2010 November 22 – ESA extends the cluster mission until December 2014 October 4 – Cluster helps disentangle turbulence in the solar wind September 1 to 10 years of success for Cluster Quartet. July 26 Cluster makes crucial step in understanding space weather. July 16 Cluster's decade of discovery. July 8 announcement of opportunity for Cluster guest investigators. June 3 the Cluster archive, more than 1,000 users. April 24 high speed plasma jets, origin uncovered. March 11 shocking recipe for killer electrons. January 20 – Multiple rifts in Earth's magnetic shield 2009 
October 7 – ESA extends the cluster mission until December 2012. July 16 – Cluster shows how solar wind is heated at electron scales June 18 – Cluster and Double Star, 1000 publications April 29 – Monitoring the impact of extreme solar events March 25 – Cluster's insight into space turbulence February 9 – ESA extends the cluster mission until the end of 2009 January 14 – Cluster detects invisible escaping ions Topic 2008. December 15, the science of space weather. December 5, looking at Jupiter to understand Earth. October 17, highlights from cluster themis workshop. August 27, cluster examines Earth escaping ions. August 11, electron trapping within reconnection. June 27, beamed radio emission from Earth. June 9 – Reconnection, triggered by Whistlers? March 7 – Solitons found in the Magnetopause January 23 – Cluster result impacts future space missions 2007 December 6 – Cluster explains nightside ion beams November 21 – Cluster captures the impact of a coronal mass ejection November 9 – Cluster probes generalized Ohm's law in space October 22 – Cluster monitors convection cells over the polar caps September 11 – Cluster and double star pinpoint the source of bright aurorae July 26 – Cluster helps reveal how the Sun shakes the Earth's magnetic field June 29 – Cluster unveils a new 3D vision of magnetic reconnection June 21 – Formation flying at closest ever separation May 11 – Cluster reveals the reformation of the Earth's bow shock. April 12 – Cluster finds new clues on what triggers space tsunamis. March 26 – First direct evidence in space of magnetic reconnection in turbulent plasma. March 12 – A leap forward in probing magnetic reconnection in space. February 9 – New insights in the auroral electrical circuit revealed by Cluster. Topic. 2006 December 29 – 1000th orbit for the cluster mission December 6 – Cluster finds magnetic reconnection within giant swirls of plasma November 13 – Cluster takes a new look at the plasmosphere October 5 – Double star and cluster witness pulsated reconnection for several hours August 24 – Cluster links magnetic substorms and earthward-directed high-speed flows July 18 – Magnetic heart of a 3D reconnection event revealed by cluster June 20 – Space is fizzy May 19 – New microscopic properties of magnetic reconnection derived by cluster March 30 – Cluster and double star reveal the extent of neutral sheet oscillations February 24 – Cluster reveals fundamental 3D properties of magnetic turbulence February 1 – The cluster active archive goes live January 11 – Cover of Nature magazine, Field of Force 2005 December 22 – Cluster helps to protect astronauts and satellites against killer electrons September 21 – Double star and cluster observe first evidence of crustal cracking August 10 – From macro to micro turbulence seen by cluster July 28 – First direct measurements of the ring current July 14 – Five years of formation flying with cluster April 28 – Calming effect of a solar storm February 18 – Cluster will become the first multi-scale mission February 4 – Direct observation of 3D magnetic reconnection 2004 December 12 – Cluster determines the spatial scale of high-speed flows in the magnetotail November 24 – Four-point observations of solar wind discontinuities September 17 – Cluster locates the source of non-thermal terrestrial continuum radiation by triangulation August 12 – Cluster finds giant gas vortices at the edge of Earth's magnetic bubble 
June 23 cluster discovers internal origin of the plasma sheet oscillations. May 13 cluster captures a triple cusp. April 5 first attempt to estimate Earth's bow shock thickness. Topic 2003 to 2001. The 3rd of December 2003 cracks in Earth's magnetic shield. NASA website. The 29th of June 2003 multi-point observations of magnetic reconnection. The 20th of May 2003 ESA's cluster solves auroral puzzle. The 29th of January 2003 bifurcation of the tail current. The 28th of January 2003 electric current measured in space for the first time. The 29th of December 2002 thickness of the tail current sheet estimated in space for the first time. The 1st of October 2002 telescopic microscopic view of a substorm. The 11th of December 2001 cluster quartet probes the secrets of the black aurora. The 31st of October 2001 first measurements of density gradients in space. The 9th of October 2001 double cusp observed by cluster. 2001.02. 01 official start of scientific operations. <laughs>